What's up, Culture Drop? I am Galen. Today's topic is something that I love that is very important, which is making new employees feel welcome and onboarding people. Um, and I'm gonna have two segments today. One is a dun dun dun, and the second part is gonna be a dun dun dun. All right, so first part, dun dun dun, making new employees feel welcome. This is so important that brand new employees feel valued and recognized and welcome and included and like their onboarding experience is positive. And there's a lot of really simple creative things you can do to make sure that you're setting employees up for success and right off the bat, they feel really part of the team and very welcome. So here's a bunch of ideas that you maybe don't do that you can incorporate. Number one, um, do a 360 degree meeting with the team. So two weeks, a month after they've been there, come together with the whole team and do kind of like a, you know, what are 10 questions that we should understand about you? What are your like pet peeves? How can someone earn a gold star with you? Just like, what are the ways that you like to give or receive feedback? Some interesting things about you that we want to know, like get, do kind of an orientation where people get to learn a little bit about this person and how they show up on a team. Secondly, and I love this idea, assign them a mentor, assign a new employee, someone for like 30 days, who has been there for some time, uh, that can sort of like be their guide so that if they have questions or any concerns or like that, like that can be their kind of go-to person for the first 30 days. And that person can very intentionally check in, make sure they're doing well, see if they have any questions, like at least once a week, check in, touch base with that person, be like, how are things going? What are you learning? Do you have any questions? Like assign somebody a mentor uh, that has already been there. Really, really, really important. Another simple idea is doing orientation with other departments. Don't have people just meet their direct coworkers, have them engage and interact with, and meet other departments in the entire organization so that they feel like they understand the whole part of the whole team and that they understand other functions and how people operate and how you work together, um, right? Build those connections between other departments as well. Another simple way you can have them feel included in meeting more people is schedule coffee dates and meetings virtually or otherwise with higher ups in the organization. They should know people from the executive team that are in charge of other, other leaders and other functions in the organization. Again, help them build a network inside the company and organization um, and they should know who the higher ups and, and senior leaders are. So like be intentional about scheduling those so that people can meet other people in the organization. Another one that I love, and this is actually really beneficial for companies. You should do this for the perspective, but 60 days after somebody shows up, give them a new employee survey. Ask them some questions after they've been there for 60 days that is like, what is your favorite part about being here? Um, are we really, do you see us really living our cultures and our values? Uh, right, and like, what do you see as an observer, right, coming into the organization? What are the biggest areas of opportunity for us to improve our systems, our processes, the way we do things, right? Get feedback from somebody who has fresh eyes in the organization and take that to heart. Those are really important. Uh, the feedback that they give you is really critical for you to improve things and understand their experience. Another idea is recognize them for big wins and progress and benchmarks over the first six months they've been there. Be really intentional about like any benchmarks that they hit, any big wins that they have, like recognize them, acknowledge them. Again, it's like, don't just hire someone, give them a job description and be like, you're on your own. Like be really intentional, like for a certain amount of time that they're there, that you're really celebrating and acknowledging the work that they're putting in and how they're doing. All right, last idea here is um, don't have me come up with all the ideas for your team. Come together as a leadership team, come together in your organization and have a meeting that's 30 minutes long. And the title of the meeting is what creative and interesting ways do we, things that we wanna put into effect to make sure that brand new onboarding hires feel really valued, really included, really welcome here. Like come up with some creative ways inside your organization that you can do that. Uh, come up with a handful of ways, be very intentional about onboarding. It is, the, it is the first impression that new employees have and it makes a huge difference to them. So be very intentional about that. It's about to get real up in here. Part two, this is the dun dun dun. I have a conversation with a lot of organizations and this dynamic exists in a lot of places. A lot of teams have people that have been there for a long time um, or people that are just like pretty jaded, pretty toxic, not very happy. And they're afraid of exposing brand new employees to these people because they're afraid that they will drink from the poison well of like these toxic employees. I, I literally answer, feel this question a lot of like I have new employees coming in, but like I don't, the people that train them or I don't want them to interact with this department. How do I avoid that? What I want to say about that is what the hell are you doing having employees in your organization that you are afraid of exposing new employees to because they're so toxic. Like, hello, that is on you as a leadership team. You cannot allow that to take place. If you recognize that dynamic inside your organization, you have to do something about that because the truth is, 
what you're doing, when that dynamic exists, you know that people are exhibiting incredibly poor behavior, toxic behavior, and like you're afraid of them ruining new employees with their bad attitudes and you are doing nothing about that. That is unacceptable. Like you owe it to the rest of your employees and the new people that are excited with fresh energy coming into your organization to not let that happen. You need to either fire those people. Uh, but before that, you need to have some real conversations as a leadership team, right? At, like you need to coach those people into greatness or out the door. Like you cannot allow that to exist. You can't have employees that you are afraid of in your own organization. Like you are in charge. Again, have a very intentional culture. Talk about behaviors. You need to be able to coach people up into greatness and like set the tone and hold people accountable to like, how do they show up as human beings? Like this is the importance of the work that I do helping teams like establish culture and acceptable behaviors so that like those dynamics don't exist. But like, if that is true for you, if you are like, hmm, if I'm hiring somebody, is there anyone I wouldn't want them to interact with? You need to deal with that. If there's an answer to that question, if you can think of employees or a team or group of people, like you need to address that. You, nobody else can. Coworkers cannot address that inside organizations. Like only you as a leadership team can do that. And like, that is unacceptable. Do something about that. Um, I, I know I'm harsh about this, but like unacceptable. You have, you cannot have that happen. Uh, cool. All right. I love you. Be great. Make new employees feel welcome. Uh, see you guys soon. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we have our weekly email list, The Culture Drop. You can subscribe to that and get these emails right in your inbox. Follow our social media channels. Uh, put out a lot of free content around being more awesome and building great teams.